guys, I'm back. Okay, I guess they were just moving the machine. I guess they really are not going to do anything. I think they're done right now for the day on our street. So let me just keep going with the video. So I, I told you my regiment for my face. We talked about my hair and we talked about my sickness and all that stuff. Um, so let me get into some of the questions that a lot of you have been asking me or some of the comments that have been made. And Melissa, don't worry, honey, the package gets sent when it gets sent. Okay, those of you who want to send a package and, you know, life gets in the way, I am not the type of person to sit here and I'm watching the days go by and seeing how long it's taking to get the package. That's not me. That's not what a rack is for and that's not what a swap is all about. Okay, unless we specifically say, you know, let's make sure we get everything done and send our packages out by the 20th then that's different i am not one of those to sit here and put a time limit on anything i just appreciate you wanting to send me anything so whenever it's convenient for you works for me so always make it work for you don't think i'm sitting here tapping my foot and you know rolling my eyes because i haven't received the package yet i don't operate like that okay i just appreciate the fact that you want to send me something so thank you so much um Let's see, uh, Grace Bye in Australia, thank you for uh, subbing, thank you very much, and uh, yes, I want to be blessed too, thank you, I appreciate that, and uh, Char, you love the sheep washi tape, I know, wasn't that cute tape, oh my goodness, and yes, I was wearing your earrings in that video, I was wearing your earrings, and Corey, yes, I know, we taught, remember the tip that I said about making the dots ourselves. I was going to ask you, how difficult is it to take it apart once you, you, you know, punch the dot? You know, you gotta take like a little, the little pick to peel it apart to, to be able to use the dot. So I'm so happy, just like you, that I found the market dots. I, I you know, I, I don't mind doing it the other way, but if it's already done for me and to make my life that much easier, I'm jumping all over it. So I agree with you on that, my dear. It could be a pain to punch all of that. And uh, Rebecca, yes, I will be on the lookout for those cheer pads for you, so don't worry about that. And thank you, uh, Hoodlums Times 4, Mommy Reporter. Yes, that is a really cute hat, and it was only $1.50, right? And I'm going back to Daiso tomorrow just before the radio station because I, th I thought I saw it in a black and I saw it in like a pink. And if they have them in those colors, if I remember correctly, don't you know I'm going to get those two for $1.50? Hello, why not? Why not have... It in all the colors I can possibly get it in for a dollar fifty, and the brim is the right size and everything, and is such a comfortable hat. And what I forgot to show you guys was that it has an elastic band that you could put it around your 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 chin, or you could put it underneath your hair so it doesn't you know fly off in in wind and everything. But you guys have no idea how comfortable that hat is for a dollar fifty. That I would have paid ten dollars, twenty dollars for that hat. That's how comfortable it is. So it really is a really, really cute hat. And mommy reporter, we are planning on coming to Vegas. When did he say? Um, not this coming weekend. Next weekend. I'll let you know for sure. I'll let you know for sure. But I believe it's uh, a week from this weekend or in the middle of the week, like Wednesday, Thursday. But I'll let you know definitely for sure because we were just talking about that the other day. Um, straight and natural. Um, I was looking for the Lisa Frank stickers. They didn't have any more when I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday. So I'm on the lookout for those for you because um, you said you love Lisa Frank. And uh, so I will look out for that for you. And let's see. I know there are a couple of more questions that people were asking me. And I'm trying, I'm still trying to figure out what this um, Hello Kitty thingy is. I'm still trying to figure out what that is. I sent the picture to my daughter to see if she could read the Japanese and translate it for me. Because my daughter, our daughter speaks uh, Japanese. And so I even sent her the... Um, this right here on the, the, the four-way pen that still doesn't work. It, it won't advance. This is what the pen looks like. And it, you know, there's, that's like black ink right there. And then you're supposed to push it and another color is supposed to pop out, but black keeps popping out. And then push it again. This time the pencil came out. Okay. So, and I push that in, the pencil came out again. So these are not working 
adds pencil again, pencil again, pencil again. And I even try spinning the top, you know, it still pencil comes out. I've even tried turning the barrel and still pencil pops out again. So it's like they're not working. They're not working, so I'm not happy about that. But, you know, for $1.50. But if I have to keep paying for them, pretty soon it's going to be the same equivalent amount of a regular pen, right? So they got to make this right for me. they got to make this right. Um, let me just see if I can find a couple more questions. And if not, then you know what? We'll just have to end the video because I, I know that there were more questions. Um... And I should have wrote them down, and I'm so sorry that I, I did not. Oh, oh, who loves times four? And and Corey, I'm so happy that you enjoyed your, your rack, um, especially the boards, and Andrea, you too. And um, the, uh, the, the other little treat that I sent you, who loves times four, they were called choco rooms like chocolate and mushrooms so they call them choco rooms weren't those good it's like mushroom shaped shortbread cookies with the top part dipped in dark chocolate talk about yum me okay have that with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea Ooh, that was some nice stuff right there so i have to get a couple of more and and send them out to some people okay I received the Coletto pen, and I'm sorry, was it from Char? Was it Cecilia? I am so sorry that I can't remember. But let me say this. I am in love with this pen. And let me explain why. It has a fine point on it that is unbelievable. You have to kind of get used to it. You'll feel like you're kind of scratching the paper because that's how fine it is. But just adjust your, your pressure, okay? Take the time to adjust the, the amount of pressure that you're putting on your pen when you're writing, okay? Right now I have purple, red, and green in here. I never knew what a Coletto pen was. A lot of people were always talking about them here on YouTube. And then I got one in a rack. And again, I'm so sorry, I can't remember who sent it to me, but I appreciate it. I really do. And the Coletto pen is Pilot High Tech. It has like some grippers right there on the bottom barrel where you will hold the pen. Okay. Sometimes I hold my pen like this, sometimes I hold it like this. I was in a really bad car accident where I was thrown from the car. Uh, this is going to sound crazy. But I was thrown 250 feet. I went through the window on, on the driver's side door. I went through the window. I flew through the air 250 feet and I landed in someone's yard. And I remember flying through the air and seeing the ground, my face coming towards the ground. And I remember covering my face like this and then I hit Next thing I know, I wake up and there's paramedics cutting my clothes off of me. My head is strapped down to a board. They're asking me questions and I could just hear all this commotion going on, but not really pinpointing what's happening. But subconsciously, it's like I could see everything and hear everything happening, going in slow motion and everything, but still not making a lot of sense. And I don't, I don't know if that makes sense to you. And they rushed me to the emergency room and the doctor in the emergency room, they let me go. I'm laying there and he says, do you know what happened to you? And I said, I think I was in a car accident. He said, you should not be alive to right now. I've never seen anyone sustain an impact the way that you did and come out get this, with only a hairline fracture right here. Now, I don't have a bridge, okay? But the bone right here, my skull, there was a hairline fracture right there. Now, my face had swollen, you know, about three or four times its size. My lips felt really big. I mean, bigger than what they are. <laughs> Everything felt really big and swollen. I had no broken bones. He said, I did have some blood come out of my ears, but they did extensive x-rays to my head. They don't see anything, no blood clotting or anything. And I was able to walk away. He said, all I know is that you are not done with what you're supposed to do. He says, because I have never seen anyone walk away from an accident 
that you just experienced and no broken bones. You're not in traction. You don't have any, um, you're not going to have any residuals behind this or anything. I told myself, so the last thing I do remember was the ground was coming towards me and I covered my face. That's what caused that fracture is when my head hit my hand that I saved my brain, my forehead, my skull by my hand blocking the impact from the concrete. So when I write, I hold my pen really hard because the, oh, the strength in my arm, I can't sometimes hold the pen. Some I can feel it in my hand, but I don't, when I go to write, sometimes it just looks like chicken scratch, and sometimes I'm having a hard time trying to write, you know, like my brain is just not going, the message isn't going all the way through. So some pens they're very comfortable for me then other pens i'm holding it and i'm just like really forcing myself to write it's like i can't relax with this coletto pen for some reason it relaxes my arm i don't know why it could be the fine point i i'm really not sure but all i know is that i don't feel that tension in my arm when i write with this pen and i have a boatload of pens people i have a lot of pens i you know i haven't shown you all the pens and things that i have but oops i have a lot of pens fat pens thin pens pencils you name it markers i have them all but this coletto pen this is a bit of yummy right here so for those of you who are thinking about getting a coletto pen please follow through with that thought process because it is a very nice pen and in my set I did not know anything about Coletto pens. I did not even know that you had all these different options. Okay, I looked at it and I'm going, hmm, what is this? <laughs> it was like, what am I? I saw Coletto right here, but then I it, it I just didn't put two and two together. This is 0 0.3 lead. I normally write with 0 0.5 or 0 0.7, which I never really paid attention to the the numbers until I start doing all this journaling and everything but you get light blue dark blue like another dark blue orange pink and brown and green red and purple so you could change out to whatever you want and I just I, this is a bit of all right right here on on uh, this is this should be on a, your list of your top 10 favorites at least for me I know we all have our our isms about things and stuff like that but this Coletto pen right here it's all right in my book and everyone around me and knows me that when I say something is a bit of all right they're like oh let me run out and get that you know because this this is really something this is really something here and I just do not feel that pressure that tension in my arm when I go to write with this Coletto pen so I'm loving this so those of you who are on the fence um, mommy reporter and hoodlums times four yeah yeah run out and get you one okay and i don't know if these are at daiso um i never saw them at daiso it has japanese writing on or is that korean writing you know i'm not sure but um i've never even seen them at staples so maybe this is another you know well it says pilot so pilot's a major name brand so run out and get you one i i'm just saying okay so if you don't and you borrow someone else's and you can't say I didn't tell you because I did. I'm just letting you know. Go get you one, okay? Uh, Carla Lyon, thank you so much for uh, watching my Hobonichi video. And uh, yes, I think I I, I I like to think that I explain what a Hobonichi is all about in, in my DIY Hobonichi. It is a book that you take whatever you learned or experienced that day and you write it down in the book for that day and draw a picture that's the best way that i could describe it but i like to look at it like a lesson that i learned or something that i experienced for the first time you know one of those i particularly do not put anything negative in my my hobonichi like when i'm mad at my girls or something like that however i do put in when i have my migraines and stuff like that because that really affects my day but i don't put anything in there that i would consider negative because when i go back and look at the things that i've experienced i want it to be a happy feeling now don't get me wrong i got my other journal where i write down stuff that just tick me off <laughs> you know it's like well today he said this yeah i have that book 
and then and that's even funny to go back and look at that, you know, and go, remember when I was so mad at you? But he goes, you're mad at me all the time, so it doesn't matter. So, <laughs> so I do have that because you should have somewhere to throw the, the, the frustration and the anger and the disappointment somewhere, but as well as you should have some place to jot down all the fun, great, wonderful things that you've experienced in the day. So there's nothing wrong with it. I just want my Sherry Nietzsche to have my fun, good, wholesome, laughing, incredible, crazy things that happen to me in the day. And if nothing like that happens to me in the day, guess what? I was blessed with another day of breathing and walking on this earth that God created for me. What's better than that besides a pocket full of money? I mean, you you, you know what I'm saying, right? So, um, but yeah, that's how I consider what the Hobonichi is all about, okay? There are others that are going to be more involved and, and indulge everything and, and all that, but I, for one, when I go back and look at mine, I want mine to put a smile on my face. I don't want to go, oh, yeah, I remember that because I've got my other book for that. OK, so that's what I thought I feel that a Hobonichi is for. But you make it work for you. OK, you make it work for you. And um, I think that is about it, everyone. I've gone back to uh, August, middle of August for some of the questions that were asked of me. And um, so I think I'll just go ahead and end right here. I just wanted to share a little bit of myself with you and, um, you know, just to help you to understand what rolls around in my head and everything. I consider you all my friends, especially those of you who comment and follow me, you know, every day, if not every day, every week. And I consider you my friend. And when I call you my friend, that means your family. So welcome to the family. And... I just hope that this answered some of the questions that were always rolling around in your head. I don't find myself to be all that interesting, but apparently some of you do. And I don't mind sharing my experiences of what I've gone through with you because maybe something that I went through, someone is going through it themselves and maybe just seeing how I came out on the winning end of it, that gives you hope that you will come out on the winning end of it as well. So um, thank you so much, everyone. I'm going to run out to the farmer's market right now, go get my squaw bread and my banana nut bread for the week, and uh, try to get back in here and try to clean up a little bit more of this craft room because it's getting pretty bad. Call from Maria and as you can hear, I have a friend, a friend calling me right now, so I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much, everyone. I'll see you at the next video, and as always, I want you Incoming to be blessed. Bye-bye now. Walcott.